All right, Paul, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to make, make our worming bag up. Yep. Now, you can use old fish frames and stuff, but I like pillies because they're nice and oily. Yep. Now, you can put them in a little hessian bag. I, I just normally get a bit of rag. Put the bait in, like so. That's probably enough in there. Pull the, pull the corners up nice and tight. Yep. Oh, so this just sort of tracks the worm, does it? Yep. This is our, what we call our stink bag. Stink bag, okay. Yep. Well, I've never caught a worm before, Scott, so I'm hoping today might be my first time. <laughs> uh, Hopefully. And what sort of fish do we catch on these, on these worms? Worms? Oh, off the beaches you get jewfish, dart, brim. So that's our stink bag done. Yep. So nice then what we've got to do, we've got to tie them onto our worm pole. Yeah. You could just put a string on it and swing it in the sand, but I like to have a stick on it. Why is that? Because when you see a worm come up, yeah. the good thing about this, you can move it back and forward, as you'll see when we're doing it. Yep. And as soon as you see a worm, because the worms will be down in front of us, you just drive that into the sand, you don't lose your bag. Okay. The fantastic. stink stays above and it keeps washing around in the wash. That's pretty clever. And the worms will come up and it'll attract the worms. Then you can move down and have a go at getting them. So when the worm actually comes up, what do you do from then on? What's, what's the go okay, there? Okay, we, we're going to make these little fellas up. Yeah. Next. What are these? These are little uh, stink bags for your hand. Okay. You could use pippies, fish bait, any tough sort of bait. Now what you do is a little bit of fishing line around it, just so you keep it on your wrist. Again, yeah. when you're down in the white water and you're working around the sand, it's so easy to drop your bait. And you so lose but your what's, bait what's it for, but? So we get down nice and close to our worm and wave it around. The worm yeah. will come up and with your fingers, yeah. get in nice and close, grab him, pull him out. So what does he do? Put his head up and come over and grab the bag or something? Comes up and he'll attach to the bag, yeah. thinking it's a piece of food which will give you time to come in and grab him. Sounds pretty easy, mate. They can is be uh, very hard, They can it? be tricky, yep. yep. So when you grab them, they actually just come straight out? Sometimes, if they're relaxed, they will. Yep. Other times, you'll have to dig down around the worm and slide him out. OK. Yep. And how long do these worms get? Oh, it can be up to a metre, over a metre. A metre? Can be, yeah. That's amazing. So we'll make this little fella up. Yep. We finished making the bags and hit the surf. The trick to finding worms is get on the beach the last two hours of the run out tide and just work your stink bag, as we call it, up and down along the, the edge of the water as it, as it runs up the beach and then runs out. And what you're looking for is the worm's little head will come up and form a V off it as the water runs back. And they're just sticking their head up looking for the scent. There we go. He's only a little worm. I'll be flat out putting him on my hook, I reckon, but it's a start. That's a better one. And that's the size of worm we're after. 